Today I'm here to meet with Daniel and his family. I think they're having some troubles with their nutrition, their snacks, their portions. I'm not sure how they're going to cope with me going in and shaking things up, but it's time. I just want to have a peek at what they're eating before they come down. Some of the snacks that we've been having for Daniel is granola bars, which have five grams of fiber in them. The very first ingredient is glucose fructose. Terrible. Pudding that are no fat at all. Who cares if it's fat free? Cheese slices. Nothing in this that's real, that's good for you. These kids are ADHD and ADD. This is the absolute worst thing they could be eating. It's got sugar, number one ingredient, fructose, second ingredient. Even this instant soup, it has monosodium glutamate in it. That is terrible for someone with ADHD. Any preservatives, any additives, that will just set their mood right off. I had brought some healthy snack options. I wasn't I talking to you. you. I said, don't do it. And very quickly, an argument unfolded. I wasn't talking Not to you. Not once. Not twice, but three times. Did I or didn't I? I don't know. You are so disrespectful, it hurts. Daniel was doing something silly, and his mother lost it. Daniel, can I please come in just for a sec? I know you're probably very pissed off right now. I needed to address what was really going on in that family. I can feel the tension in your house. Sorry. Although I do nutrition, and I do this every day in my life for families. What happened? He was playing with his cheeks and making these loud, obnoxious noises, which is totally annoying, and I asked him to stop. Then he didn't. I mean, it's like that you attitude pretty much is what you get. This is out of control. I start off at a different level first, and it just but doesn't it, it matter. it accelerates really quick. That was like zero to 100 in two seconds. Yes, it was. As a little boy, what you did to his self-esteem was disgusting, what you did to him. Stop it! I want you to start thinking of your kids for a little bit as being the puppies. If you think you're going to break a dog, bust the dog, kick the dog, and you're going to have a nice dog, you're going to have a dog that bites. You've kicked the dog too many times, and he's an angry boy. Your son has an eating problem because he stuffs his feelings down with food. He needs a mom to hug him and say, I love you anyways. I love you. But I do that every freaking day, every time we have these. Listen, you don't believe me. I believe you. But guess what? It's if you, not working. If you kick someone and hug them, it's called a cycle of abuse. Tara plays the victim because then they all rush to her and tell her they love her and need her. It's probably the way she gets her dose of love. She needs to become the mom again and take control. Your boys are learning how to become men by watching you, not mom. And they're learning from the wrong guy. Dad never cries. Ever. Ever. I don't know what happened down here. An eating problem? because he stuffs his feelings down with food. And he's an angry boy. Your boys are learning how to become men by watching you, not mom. And they're learning from the wrong guy. And what are your boys learning? All they're learning is how to hate. I can't even sit down and have a conversation with my own son here where he gets to the point where I'm ready because to kill him. Because he's just the same way. He's, he's just as mad. Dad, he's learned it. You know how they phrase it? You look in the mirror, you look deep, and you see your true self. And I didn't like what I was seeing or feeling. It's up to you. And you got to get in a better place, because you have two boys that are counting on you. You can reel it in right now. Put your hands on the center of the table. Can you look at your husband? <laughs> I can't look at anybody. Mom, you're stronger than you know, and you guys are going to I turn things around. I can't do this alone. I need your can't do this alone. Are you ready to help him? I'm in. I'll figure this out. Together. You're making a commitment, and you say what you mean, and you mean what you say. Yeah. I want to build our new future. Together, that's the only way we're going to do this. You've started your journey, then. And it's only going to turn around with love. With love, that's it. But then there'll be the moment they actually begin trusting you again. Sugar, ingredient number one, garbage. As Crystal was leaving, she just explained to us what we were actually feeding the kids. When you give them sugar, it's jet fuel for anger. Crystal said, down with this pudding. Down! Wow. Glucose fructose. What is that? What That's is sugar. Glucose? Crystal told us if we eat snacks with a lot of sugar in it, Daniel, it aggravates oh the gosh. anger levels 
for ADD and, AD, and ADHD. ADHD. Yeah. ADHD. <laughs> Daniel's been having like two and three of them a day. So by the time I get home from work, no wonder we get into a fight right off the bat. Okay, this is the stuff that we put in our water. Oh. No, it doesn't gotta yes, go. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get mad, but I caught myself. Would you like to listen to this or would you yes. like to help? Or what? Oh, you tell me what you would like for the solution. I would like to help. My mom tried to control her temper instead of her just going and yelling. It was really good. We need to hack these out because this will spike your sugar level. It won't help you at all. Two, Two one, one. Today's the fit test day. I guess I'm a little nervous. Hopefully, 